And it's moving so fast it looks like we're we're moving, but mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, in the same spot. And a seal. Just collected imagery for Hope Island. Uh, the uh, the current is heading around the island that way. So when I came up that way, it was a little bit longer of a paddle, but <clears throat> it only took me about 30 minutes to get around the island. And I saw 22 raccoons on the beach. Um, so that might be worth checking out the imagery because I got really, really close to them. Uh, so at some points in the, in the imagery tour, which you can find in the description below, uh, you'll be really close to these raccoons. Some of them had like white rings on their tail instead of black rings, which makes me think it's a, um, it's this population that has that or something weird going on with this island. Um, I know they have red, red fur here because the crustaceans that they eat on the beach, um, when, when those chemicals break down, that turns their fur red. I hadn't noticed the uh, the white tails, uh, which is different, I think. Well, we'll come back and do a whole episode on this island, I think, aboard Sea Wolf, and uh, and really explore. And um, there's some history here and some signs and <clears throat> old stuff on the island that's worth looking at. So, yeah, that'll be a future episode. Is that an osprey? Yeah. I think so. Chasing the osprey. Well, it's, it's, yeah. Hoping to make it drop its food. How does it? Mm -mm. Just, no. Ah. He gave up. <laughs> the sun's warming up. The lion's mane, that one. Pretty. Yeah, the the danger red asterisk. Uh -huh. <laughs> cool. That's the first one I've seen on this trip. Oh, what a monster of an anchor! <laughs> yeah, the jelly's off. Caught a, a kelp leaf in that island. <clears throat> So over there is Steamboat Island Marina. Um, they, might buy, they made my life a lot more difficult during my thesis. Uh, and I was uh, on this island um, for the majority. Oh, we got a big wake, jeez. Um, but uh, they, they have a security guard that patrols the beaches to make sure um, <coughs> people don't uh, park their cars and then take the kayaks over from the short distance from the from steamboat to <laughs> to the island I just gave him the finger, um, 
and so the, the closest you can get is way over on the point over there to, uh, to put in for this island. Um, so thanks Steamboat. Uh, another thing uh, about, about Steamboat is that uh, the, the dock over there is a, a seal haul out and uh, it's not marked on any of the other seal haul out maps or researches research that was done on seals just just on mine um, and there's typically a lot of seals there in fact close to a third of the seals in the south sound are on that dock and it doesn't seem like they're accounted for but i could talk all day about how people survey seals and some of the issues with their methods um, There's Hope Island. The historical part of the island is right there in the forest with the, there's a cabin there and um, some old historical stuff. And a lot of the raccoons that hang out here hang out by that camp in that um, stream that comes out and meets the uh, sound. history with this passage. Um, I had to throw anchor here once uh, during a bad uh, a bad blow in the summer when my uh, motor died. But we're heading through at uh, 9.1 knots. <laughs> oh my god. They just cleaned the bottom. The, the diesel is uh, going strong and we're with the current and so we're ripping through here. Awesome. entered Case Inlet, which is um, one of the larger areas in the South Sound. There's an inlet that mirrors Case Inlet on the other side of um, this peninsula called uh, Car Inlet, which I've never really explored. But <clears throat> Case Inlet was part of my uh, thesis survey area, uh, so I know it fairly well. And, uh, and yeah, it was, it was a big area to survey. But uh, we're going to McMicken Island, which is uh, coming up on this uh, on this coast here. That was a warm day. There was a lot of sun. So even though the island is like right there, like pretty close, uh, we're in like, we're in 200 feet of water. <laughs> and then it goes to 20 feet of water, right? Right around here. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, yeah. These cliffs that and the Puget Sound are also pretty deep underwater and Think how, how cool that would look um, if you could see through the water and see what the cliffs look like down there. That's a yeah, that's a 200 foot cliff beneath us. Wow. If it was a paddleboard, I could just paddle it from here. <laughs> but uh, sitting down is the hardest part of the. Beautiful.
So we are on McMicken Island, which is a state park. Um, Magnolia is <clears throat> on anchor out in the bay. Um, because it's a 50 foot boat, it can't take any of the uh, buoys. I think the limit is 45 feet on pretty much all the state park buoys in the, in, uh, the state. Um, there's this short trail around the, uh, the island. Let's see what we can find out and see if we can find any cool animals living here. This is a pretty typical South Puget Sound habitat. We've got Madrona, lots of uh, ground cover, slough and um, elderberry or huckleberry or yeah, evergreen huckleberry. Um, all this stuff. Lots of berry bushes and uh, cedar, which is this one. <clears throat> and fir trees. Pretty, pretty typical for this area. I want to see a pig meow. That's really what I want to see. <laughs> um, apparently they hang out in the lower branches of trees here. So, fingers crossed. So we got a snail. I think uh, this is like a, a banded snail or something. They've got um, kind of like a purplish skin. Sorry buddy, he's enjoying the moss and um, nice spiral with a lighter colored band throughout so pretty cool don't see that a lot So we've got, so I'm surrounded by chestnut back chickadees and there's a, a Buick's wren and something else. Oh, a kinglet or a vireo.
I really want to know if that's a Vireo. <laughs> Got it. I think what we have is a, a Hutton's Vireo. Um, it's got the two white wing bars. And it's responding to the Hunt and Vireo song. Let's see if I can find one. Yes, this is a Hunt and Vireo right here in this bush. <laughs> How cool is that? It's not a super common bird to see, but wow, I can't. <laughs> I can't believe I called it in and everything. That's awesome. Oh, it's probably the best pictures I've ever gotten one as well. Some mosquitoes are all over now. Let's see if I can get, can't get more out of this bird. Well, that was really cool. Small birds are kind of a hard thing to see. I heard some, some chattering in the bushes, which is why I stopped and started uh, pushing in all the small birds. So yeah, we got bunch of chickadees that's uh, pretty typical and then the vireo which is awesome at, at least two a female and a male and then uh, a buick wren. um wow what a what a neat little patch there uh the, there's a lot of bugs there which is probably why they're there um and uh berries so now we're back uh on the beach it really wasn't that far from the beach All right, I'm just about ready to take off to Heron Island and uh, paddle around it. It's a five mile paddle. It's about a mile there and then um, four miles around. So I guess it's a six mile paddle. But by the time I get back, uh, McMicken Island will actually be an island. So I'll be able to paddle all the way around and cross over the bar. So, um, I opened up my new GoPro 7 Super Suit, uh, which will allow me to take underwater video. And hopefully on the way there, I'll be able to get some underwater stuff, but I won't be able to record me talking, which is probably a good thing. So. Back on Magnolia. This is a good paddle. All there around McMicken and Heron Island. There was a lot of um, little inlets in Heron Island I didn't expect, uh, which is why it took a little bit longer than I thought. But uh, when I came back, we had uh, we put this butterfly hatch up and made a little picnic table. It had uh, grilled chicken and. Uh, salad and leftover spaghetti and corn on the cob. It was doesn't feel like boat food, but man, it was really good. So. So 
I guess we're uh, we're gonna haul anchor and uh, hopefully head up to Allen. Um, Allen's a nice town. Um, <clears throat> I've never used <laughs> this before, so let's see if I can figure it out. Wow, a big boat means big jobs. A big boat means big jobs. Big men, right? <laughs> big, big men. Big men big oh. And then what kind of turns do we have here? Caspian. Caspian turns. Like from the Caspian Sea. Right, but uh, actually Caspian means of the sea. Heading back into Dana. Uh, saw some red-necked phalarope uh, in, a, in a flock here and they're they're kind of like a super special visitor. Um, they, they live up in the Arctic and then they uh, fly down and through to uh, Chile along this coast. So, so that's cool that I got to see so many of them. <clears throat> um, I usually see them out here this time of year. But uh, yeah, we're just about to hit Dana Passage again. Whoa! <laughs> A little bit of wind. Entering the uh, Bud Inlet area now, just exiting Dana Passage. Uh, we tried sailing out of Dana Passage, but uh, the uh, current picked up to two knots against us and uh, the wind died down, so we didn't have a, a way to get out. Um, so we turned on the engine and we're motoring over to Hope Island. Um, <clears throat> and I'm on the front looking for logs, which is one of my favorite jobs, actually. <laughs> I can see pretty good.